Okay, so this video is on revising your short story, and I'm not going to actually revise this short story, but I am going to show you how to use Google Docs to revise your short story. <clears throat> and I'm going to walk you through the steps. So first is formatting. Um, so you need to double space your short story. So the way you do that is by highlighting everything. <coughs> Then you come over here and you click this little icon. If it doesn't show up, there's probably a little arrow right here and you click on it and then you can see everything. So you click on this icon, you click double space. Okay. Oh, and also I forgot to mention, notice this short story is 877 words. So about the right amount and it was written fairly quickly. So this is about where you're at. Then you want to put your name, um, period, first period and table number this is so when i'm passing them out for various reasons i can easily find you um then add a title and center it so i'm going to title this uh the fat prince and then you want to center it so centering you come up here to the top and you find this button and you click on it Okay, then divide it up into paragraphs. So this is where you want to actually read through your short story and divide it up into paragraphs based on ideas. So when you divide something up into a paragraph, you just click the tab button that's on the left-hand side and it says tab, like that. And then you read through your story. Um, and I'm gonna say this right here is one thought talking about the fat prints, like it's background information on the fat prints. And then right here it says one day, so that's actually starting a new scene. So I'm going to click enter. And notice that I clicked enter and it automatically tabbed. Once it's figured out you're going to tab your paragraphs, it will do that. Then it talks about him climbing up on the wall. Um, he finally saw someone in a far tree just sitting there. He decided to investigate. That seems like a turning point, like he's deciding something. So that's a new action. So I'm going to click enter. He climbed down off the wall into your kingdom and walked about 0.7 miles until he reached the very tall and spacious pine tree. He looked up and saw something on the very top branch. He yelled hello to see if it was a skinny princess. Do, do, do. Um, and then it says, finally, all those hours she spent sitting outside her window, stalking her and listening to her talk paid off. So I'm going to click enter. So um, it really doesn't matter how you divide up into paragraphs. Just divide up into paragraphs. Um, if you do have lots of conversations and dialogue, make sure you divide the, those up into separate paragraphs, like down here. Um, every time somebody starts speaking, that's a new paragraph. And so, what were you doing in a tree? The fat prince muttered. And then this princess says, well, I saw a bird, so I went to go grab it, and I didn't realize it would fly away by the time I got to it, she said. Um, she turned to him and just looked at him for a minute, stunning his face. What? He said, I know I'm ugly. You don't have to stare. No, it's not that, she mumbled. Oh, you look a lot like that one guy who was standing outside of my window the one night last month. Uh, um, that's really weird. What kind of weirdo would do that? Definitely not me, said the fat prince, knowing full well that it was totally him standing outside of her window that one night last month. So that's how dialogue would look. Um, just keep in mind, attention spans are very short. Then you figure out what the overall message of your story is. Um, in this case, the message is that couples can be odd and they can get together anyway. Um, and then you want to make sure your meaning, your ending emphasizes your message and is meaningful. And that's totally up to you. This is totally author's choice. Then you're going to read through your entire short story and delete anything that doesn't make sense. Um, so I might read through this and I might decide, you know what, um, this whole part isn't necessary. Well, no, I want to decide like this part. Well, no, they meet each other. Um, actually, I kind of like all of this. So I don't know. So I'm going to, maybe I don't need to delete anything, but it's totally okay. Your final story is not graded on your word count. If your final story is 400 words, that's totally fine. Um, this one is still 800-ish. I haven't, I've only deleted one word. Um, so 
Then you're going to uh, pick a section of 200 to 300 words to focus on and highlight it. 200 to 300 words, that's about 10 lines, so just count 10 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, that's two paragraphs. Now I'm going to highlight it. So the way you highlight it is you go like that, and then you come up here, you click this, click that, and now it's highlighted. Um, then you're going to rewrite the section to use more vivid figurative language and fig figurative language, and then ask the following questions. Um, so then you read those through those questions. I'm not going to do that with you. I'm just focusing on formatting. The next one is pick a section of two to three hundred words and italicize this section. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just going to go to the end of the paragraph. And I'm going to put this in italics. Yeah, um, you could also italicize the same section you highlighted and just really focus on that section. That's fine too. Um, so, and then you go through and you do the grammar part. And then you're going to pick one character and underline anywhere you developed your character. So, like, all of this is dialogue. So, I would just underline all that. And you highlight it, you go up and you click underline. Um, and then finally, read your story out loud to yourself. Is there anything that could be reworded to help it make sense? Your reader, is there anything else that your reader should know in order to make your message more clear and more powerful? And then be ready to bring five copies of your story to class next time. If you turn in your short story on Canvas by 3 p.m. on Monday, I will print it off for you and have it ready in class on Tuesday. So uh, what it is, is instead of doing peer assessments this time, we're going to be doing writer's workshops. Okay? Sound good? If you have any questions, let me know. And happy working!